focus, buddy. What's up, guys? Another vlog today. And we can see we're starting it off with broken stuff as usual. Park dirt left over. Want to thank you guys for the subscriptions, the likes, the comments, all the followings. Um, it got really bright, and I can't see. Another beautiful rainy day here in Washington with the sill. And over the past couple of days while well, I've taken a break, cut my hair, shaved a little bit, I have actually got you down in here, installed a little Mojave heater there. Actually, I think these are, what are these? These are uh, Modines, I believe, or something. Cool little switch, you just run power and a ground to them. Um, I cannot wait to tidy all of this wiring up over winter, but that is obviously always the way it goes. Ugh. Try not to sit here and breathe in you guys' face the whole time. Get this all cleaned up. I've been working on just tidying things up, getting stuff ready for the next few events. Uh, there's actually an event tomorrow, which I'm contemplating on going to. Just gotta figure out if I want to spend time away from the kid and the old lady for that many hours, because it's a COVID-only drivers event at Spirit Peaks, which uh, kind of sucks. The event is, would be awesome, but the drivers only sucks. Clean up the rest of my tools here, and always raining, just always. Huh. So, I'm gonna need to warm this thing up because add a heater, lose some coolant, probably want to fill that back up. It's a really weird way to say that. Oh, water on my belt from this stupid hood vent. things have been fixed. So many things are happy. Oh, you're gonna focus? It's 10,000 degrees in here and this thing is on low. It's actually keeping it at 175-ish where it used to hang out at 180, which is kind of cool, but low, medium, high is fantastic. I can't stand it almost. It's so Let's get that on low, but we're also gonna be trying out a new GoPro angle. I saw Emilio on Booster Boys had his like this, and then um, Ruddy uh, on Riser Miata had his mounted on the crossbar. I could, I guess, mount it to that part on the passenger side, but figured we'll try it up there. I'm gonna see how they angle it. Catch you guys in a few minutes. See this footage. Bye-bye. get some work on this. One, I gotta clean all the park dirt out real fast. And then, there's a couple spots that I've noticed repairs that the previous owner did that uh, I kind of um, screwed up. <laughs> this was the original bumper and you can just tell it's worn through really, really bad. This is actually just fiberglass, so I'll reattach those. Oh, sorry, eating my bagel. We're gonna use a cheapo little Prepare kit from prepare. I mean repair kit from O'Reilly's. These are like 12 bucks um, So generally it's just uh, some hair kitty hair people call it some resin some hardener stuff like that But where this is broken It's actually flexing really bad and part of my issue is where this square is missing or these two Angles if you notice that's actually how these are doubled up and I have my zip ties running through there I may end up changing that, but I want to fix this 
I want to go ahead and clean everything out obviously and then where this bend is I need to repair here I need to fix obviously the square that's missing and then I just want to beef everything back up where it's flapped and broken so we're gonna get a time-lapse going for that and I'm gonna show you guys that actually before we go ahead and do it what we're gonna be using mm, still bagel in my teeth that's right if you guessed more busted fiberglass from another drift car because why not this is DIY and it's dark again damn it where did I go DIY repairs right average Joe channel that's how we do it so let's do it man that's so much easier than having to have a rig set up so ooh, ooh. get this ooh. get this all prepped up So I went ahead and cut out a little template. Actually, hold on, let me pause Taylor Ray's video there. You know, gotta support the fellas. But um, just set this behind the cut of the bumper, traced it out, which is this shape on this line. And then I went ahead and, now that you can see me, uh, the secondary line is an overlap because obviously I want a nice piece to attach to it. So the little cut lines are where I'm gonna cut so I don't forget. Chop that guy out real fast with some skizzers. Yes, I said skizzers. My 10 year old always asks why I say that. And I say it because it's funny. So yes, because it's funny. This cut out, you know, that CAD design though. Always wonderful, always wonderful. Quick test fit. Okay, get you guys over here real fast and Nice little overlap. It leaves a little piece to be desired, but I'm gonna actually just fudge that in with another piece of the bumper right there and some more fiberglass. And then obviously fiberglass there, and we're gonna chop out a quick piece there, but jump back into a time lapse. Or well, I might do a little bit of head cam and get this going. So, chop all this out. This one's not perfect. It's not exactly what I wanted, but you know what? It goes where I need it to. It basically, ooh, turned you guys. It basically gives it the shape that I want. And obviously I can paint it and it will be black. So, gotta sand all the edges down, clean up the edges of this where it's gonna get attached. And I wanna put some fiberglass on these cracks first. Let's go ahead and go like this. And then go like this a little bit. And this is how you realize you didn't make enough for such a big ass piece. Uh, oh, shoot. Go ahead and soak the edges down as best as I can for this piece, especially for this piece, which I wonder if I can cheat a little bit of it real quick and just kind of preemptively glue it down if you know what I mean I'm assuming there's bodywork people out there just laughing at me going what is he doing but you gotta learn somewhere right and that's my cat behind me meowing so go ahead and mix some more of this up and jump back into that with you guys, but I gotta pee. When you need a jar, and you can't find one quick and easy, and you're like, shit, what am I gonna do here? Oh wow, did I just run out of hardener? Uh oh, this could be bad. This could be real bad. Well, good thing this is the last little piece that I gotta do. I needed a jar, so thankfully uh, I had a couple of these laying around for some odd reason. <laughs> Uh, so let's go ahead and mix this all up and start by cheating the corners again. That to me is the best idea. 
essentially gluing it down and then get it on smear it across there get it across there and then let's just start blanking around because I might be in a little bit of trouble here. Oh, I split my glove open. That's not good. So let's just go ahead and move this all around and stick my finger in there. That sounds kind of bad, but whatever. Get this all spread around. Nice and good. So I know this piece is not coming off. Go ahead and keep it down. That would be a little bit better. Hmm. I wonder if I have something. Shove under there, that will create tension. Oh, I do. Thank you, Nissan headlight piece. Let's go ahead and smear all of this around the best we can. Of course, the dogs always have to bark for the neighbors, but uh, let's go ahead and get that Johnny back on there. Get these tools in my lap because we're going to take them back in. Now that I've finished all this up, I didn't quite want to end the video on a, you know, just fiberglassing stuff note. So, I think these shouldn't matter because these are just the polarity is being switched. I believe so. Ooh. So that goes on that one, that one goes on that one. And I think, obviously we threw a little loom in there to hide it. Uh, power. Believe it's to this one? Wait, let's find out. Together. Oh yeah. Now does it close off of the same button? Oh my god! So we now have a functioning sunroof. That's actually a nice little setup. I still have enough space for my stereo. And we have turns, we have wipers, we have... Heat and sunroof! Oh wait. Does that mean I can do the just the down? Okay, it's, I could sit there and play with that button all day. But let's jump back into the garage, check on that fiberglass project. So now that we jump back in the house, knocked out a little bondo here. Go ahead and get it all spread in where I want it. Of course, when you're trying to film, you always accidentally mix more hardener in than you want. That's a smart idea. Dumbass. But, like I said before at the beginning of the video, this wasn't meant to be perfect by any means. This is just so I have a bumper again for right now. I really, really, really want to get my hands on a KBD rear, which means I'll probably have to buy it myself, which I'm not opposed to. I'll have a nice new bumper. Make me happy. This will at least keep me looking halfway decent in some photos. Which is what matters, right? <laughs> it's all for the club.
all for the clip. But as long as it goes back together in one piece, and when I paint it black, everything kind of stands back in the way it's supposed to, that's all I really, really care about. I'll go ahead and smooth it down a little bit. Yeah, that piece isn't really going anywhere. I'm a lot less worried than I was earlier. Smooth that in. You know what? I'm actually going to take this and smear it on my finger real quick and use it as a little glue for tilt you guys down tilt you down a little more and zoom in over there where this piece is separated Seals it like glue. But whatever. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay away from how bright that light made me and how washed out it was. Um, possibly driving tomorrow. We'll find out. I'm gonna talk to the old lady about it tomorrow tonight. I'm tired. I just need to get another hit off my pen and go to bed. Fixed. Car's fixed. That's wonderful. And. It's not the greatest, but look, I have one piece again, and when I paint it black, you won't be able to tell. Kinda. <laughs> so with that, we're gonna let you guys go. Average Joe's channel, out.